Hi, welcome to part 3 of Game Theory and Breaking Bad. The scene we're going to discuss now is one of the most dramatic scenes and one of the best examples of game theory, and it really speaks for itself. So we'll quickly just set up what's going on, and you should enjoy and watch the clip. This scene takes place just before the gun scene in the episode Crazy Handful of Nothing. The background is that Jesse has tried to meet with Tuco and conduct a business deal, but Tuco is a ruthless drug lord, and he steals their product and he beats up Jesse to a bloody pulp. So Walt is cornered. He needs to figure out a way that he can not only get money for the product that Tuco stole, but he also wants to be in business so that he can make money. So how's he going to do this? We'll see the action that Walt takes. All right, now let's do an analysis of the scene. An important detail in Walt's meeting is that Tuco first extinguishes a cigarette in his mouth. This is a classic tough guy move. Tuco wants to show that he can't be intimidated, that he is the one who holds the power. So although Walt tries to reason, he's only going to get through if he can demonstrate he can be a tough guy as well. So what Walt does is he uses the strategy of mutually assured destruction. The idea is that he, Walt is willing to go nuclear. He has enough firepower that can destroy everyone. And if Tuco isn't willing to play game, then Walt is just going to take actions and everyone's going to be decimated. The key to mutually assured destruction is that Walt has to show his threat is credible. And he takes that in dramatic fashion. So it's that small explosion which demonstrates Walt means business, and that's why Tuco relents. The idea that you can create a reputation is something that we'll expand on and something that Walt learns from Tuco in part four. Thanks for watching this video. You can find me on Mind Your Decisions or on Twitter at Presh Hallwalker.